Aw, but I don't wanna. We're not going very far. It rubs on my neck. It's too confusing to install. And I just did my nails. Ah, yes, the I'm not gonna buckle up excuse. There are a million of them out there, and they're used more often than not. But in Oregon State, buckling up every time is the law. At ODOT, we want everyone to wear safety belts properly on every trip. So we've crafted this message to quickly explain proper belt use. So whether you're duck or beaver, Mount Hood ski bunny, eastern Oregon farmer, little leaguer, or anything in between, you can be safe and comfortable at the same time. After all, safety belt and child seat use has cut Oregon's traffic crash injury and fatality rates in half. And if staying alive isn't cool, just think of the alternatives. But you're a good, no great driver who'll never get in a crash, right? Well, with rogue texters, rambunctious new drivers, and road alligators looking to bite, no matter how great your driving skills or how short the trip, crashes still happen. So, to stay safe and avoid a ticket while cruising Oregon roads, you've got to use safety belts and child seats. Properly used belts, child seats, and boosters hold you safely inside the car, but only when they're used and fit correctly. Without this, you can be ejected out of the car in a crash. When that happens, your chances of survival are only one in five. Children who move from boosters to safety belts too soon are at an increased risk of this happening. So what's a properly worn safety belt look like? A properly worn belt fits low and snug on the hips, in front of your shoulder, away from your neck, and across your collarbone. It's not behind your back, under your arm, high on your belly, or two persons in one belt. But safety belts are for adults and children taller than four foot nine. What about Oregon laws for smaller children? Child seats must be used in a rear-facing position until the child is at least age two. Children must continue to use a child seat until they're 40 pounds or reach the highest upper weight rating of the seat in use. Once children have reached 40 pounds or the highest allowable weight for their child seat, they can graduate to a booster seat and must stay there until they're four foot nine and the adult belt fits them correctly. Got it? Good. So now, buckle up the right way with the right restraint every time. We want you to be as safe and comfortable as these folks on every trip. Don't wait another minute. Go to your car while these tips are fresh and check your belt and child seat systems. Aren't sure how to use belt comfort guides, install a child seat, or use a latch system? Read the specifics from your vehicle owner's manual. Check your car seat labels and instructions to make sure the seat is the proper size and is used correctly. Still aren't sure? Visit our website to learn more about Oregon laws. Thanks.